Today's video is on the 10th death anniversary of actress Lisa Robin Kelly, mainly known for her role as Lori Foreman, the older sister of Eric Foreman of That 70s Show. It's already 10 years today since she died on August 15th, 2013 at the age of 43 in Altadena, California. A few days after checking herself into the PAX Rehab House, she died in her sleep at the facility. It was reported that Lisa died of multiple drug intoxication through oral injection, and her death was ruled as an accident. Born on March 5, 1970 in Southington, Connecticut, before she was on That 70s Show, she appeared in two episodes of Married with Children in 1992 and in the 1997 episode where it was great seeing her and Christina Applegate together. Two blonde hotties wearing sexy workout gear, their bellies showing, and having such great bodies. And they boxed it out in a boxing arena. Lisa was also Daisy in the season one episode of Charmed, Love Hurts. Lisa portrayed as Lori very well. Lisa left midway through That 70s Show's third season and Lori was written out of the show to attend beauty school. In a 2012 interview with ABC News, she said she left due to losing a baby. She felt that she lost everything and was abusing alcohol because of that. Lisa did return for season 5 of that 70s show where Lori and Fez got married just to keep Fez in America, also leading Red to have a heart attack. Lori said that she only married Fez not to keep him in America, but she also got bored and then Fez talking about Although, we will be sleeping together. <laughs> <laughs> then all of a sudden, Red has a heart attack. And then, oh my God, <laughs> Kelso, he is such an idiot, but he is funny. He talking about, what are you talking about? Open your eyes. The man is having an arm attack because Red felt pain in his arm and he's feeling clammy. And I get why Kelso said that. If he was having a heart attack, wouldn't he be feeling the pain from his heart? But you could still have a heart attack when you're feeling some type of pain in your arm it doesn't have to necessarily be from the heart so i get what kelso was saying but <laughs> he was still idiotic for for that talking about he's having an arm attack not a heart attack and then red like moved his arm like as if he was saying get away from me you dumbass <laughs> oh that was so funny <laughs> and let's not forget the part where he uh, told Kitty if he doesn't make it he wants her to kill Fez kill the foreigner <laughs> but Lisa only appeared in four episodes of season 5 and apparently she was fired from the show because apparently the people were not feeling her performance I think it was the producers they weren't feeling her performance and I'm like well, what do you mean you're not feeling her performance so after she was fired, she was replaced by Christina Moore. Um, the show was not the same and went downhill without Lisa. And also really pretty much went downhill uh, when uh, Trofer Grace, who was Eric Foreman, he left after season seven and so did Aston Kutcher. Aston Kutcher pretty much left after season seven due to like some scheduling conflicts. Because you know at that time he started to get into movies. But Aston Kutcher did return for like, what, four episodes of that 70s show's eighth and final season. And of course, he was in the series finale, him and Trofer for Grace. So yeah, it just, the show just seemed like it's starting, it just really went downhill, you know, without uh, Lisa and Aston and Trofer for leaving. And, you know, some will say, you know, also due to Donna dyeing her red hair to blonde hair, Laura... Prepon, who was Donna, she dyed her hair blonde because it was for her role in the movie Carla. But then producers liked her blonde hair that they insisted that she keep her blonde hair for the last two remaining seasons of that 70s show. And she grown to like it and, you know, she kept her blonde hair even after that 70s show ended. Until I think she had to dye her hair dark for uh, Orange is the New Black series. Lori for the last two seasons was mentioned but never seen again. I'm pretty sure due to her being fired and then finding out that Christina Moore replaced her, I'm sure the abuse of alcohol made it worse, following the trauma due to the miscarriage. Lisa's career was never the same. She married Robert Joseph Gilliam a year before she died. Despite her um, alcohol abuse, um, 
She also had some legal issues. In August of 2010, Lisa was arrested in North Carolina on a charge of driving while impaired. In November of that year, she pleaded guilty and was fined and sentenced to 12 months of unsupervised probation. Um, on March 31st of 2012, she was arrested on a felony charge of corporal injury upon a spouse and was released on a $10,000 bail. The charge was based on a complaint filed by her ex-boyfriend. And then in November of 2012, Mooresville, North Carolina, when she was 42 at the time, she was arrested along with her then 61-year-old husband. They were arrested after responding to a disturbance at their home, and both were charged with assault and released on bound. And because of that, she later filed for divorce in a restraining order against her husband. And then uh, on June 23rd of 2013, Pretty much almost two months before she died, she was arrested for a suspected DUI when law enforcement responded to a call about a parked car blocking a lane on, of traffic on the I-5 freeway, and she failed a field sobriety test. And I remember this one mugshot of her where she she didn't even look her age. It was just sad to see, man. Poor mother has to look at that picture of me. That doesn't look like me. It's not me. People are being pretty brutal online about this mugshot, saying that you look like you're on drugs. Were um, you on drugs? Absolutely not. There is nothing that I was on or abusing at that time. Now, she says that mugshot of her, she says that doesn't look like her, but I'm sorry, it does look like her. She just doesn't look, you know, very good in the mugshot. It's just sad to see her like that. You know, I also feel bad for her that she says that her mother, you know, ended up seeing it. So, yeah, it's a lot. She actually looked the same as she did on that 70s show. But you can tell that she looked older than her actual age at that time. She did look older. Notice like a few wrinkles on her face due to all the alcohol abuse she was doing. And in this mugshot, she looks truly, truly sad and hurt. The 70s show? I was guilty of every day. the drinking problem, I on the couch, do my and I ran, Void talking to you. and I am not running from this, and I have paid my dues, and if I can make it through this, I can make it through anything. And she vowed to make a comeback. She tried to fight her demons, but the demons wouldn't allow her. Her resting place is at the Forest Lawn East Cemetery in Weddington, North Carolina. She would have been 53 right now if she was still living. She was the first That 70s Show cast member to die, the second one being Tanya Roberts. She was such an eye candy, such a babe, and she was easy on the eyes. I mean, she has such pretty green eyes that you just couldn't take your eyes off of her. She was so fine that when every time she made an entrance, there should have been the sun's rays beaming down on her while hearing the halo music. <sighs> That's how fine she was. But it's just sad what happened to her. I mean, it's as sad as what happened to her, to Dana Plato and Amy Winehouse. But Lisa Robin Kelly, she is missed. You know, her legacy on that 70s show as Lori Foreman will live on. I went with the that 90s show. I wonder if they have said anything what happened to Lori. Hopefully they didn't kill off Lori and that she's, I don't know, back at um, beauty school or whatever. You know, since Lisa's no longer with us. And then Tanya Roberts is no longer with us too. I wonder if they... Hopefully they didn't kill off her character Midge. Maybe her and Donna's dad, Bob. Maybe they got back together and just reciting somewhere else. Tell me uh, where you guys were when you heard the news that Lisa Robin Kelly passed away on August 15th, 2013. When Lisa died, Danny Matterson tweeted, Brilliant on 70s. See you next time. LRK kisses. Well... 10 years later with what you did and you um, going to jail for uh, raping two women I, I don't know if you'll be seeing her next time because you going to jail for 30 years so you talking about see her next time I don't know if you're going to see her next time based on looking at this you know this tweet from 10 years ago that said I hope you enjoyed and rest in peace Lisa Robin Kelly baby I hope you have found peace
She went in and out of clinics and tried to get help, and I don't know what her d particular demon was. Robert says producers tried to help Lisa before she left the show. She was hysterical on the show. She was great. Oh, Stephen, are you finally tired of freeloading? <laughs> they sent her to Betty Ford twice, as far as I know, and that's a hell of a lot for producers to do for a character. I thought she was so talented and I knew she had problems when she left the show and they brought her back to the show and then they weren't happy with her performance. They let her go, which was probably a tremendous um, a hardship for her. I just know that when people have trouble like that, there's a lot of sadness. In May, Michael sat down with her 70s co-star, Deborah Jo Rupp. I loved her. I loved her. She was so good in that part.